The film you're about to see is called Pride. It looks at the high expectations that parents project onto their children. There's a young man who's just going out looking for employment and, uh, and he gets a job, but he tells his parents that he's got a job in a bank. To them, he now is the second coming. He is Jesus, but he's actually really got a job in a, cleaning up a toilet. What happens is he actually transforms his toilet and takes great pride in his job and it becomes the cleanest toilet in the whole world. Uh, it gets to the point where he's so proud of this that he decides he's going to go to his parents and actually tell them what he's doing. And the whole crux of the film, I don't want to ruin it for you, that's kind of one of the nicest parts is when he confronts them with this. This is the last film I will be comparing tonight. I'm going to put you through now to Alan the announcer who will run it through for the rest of the evening. So I'm going to go and have a little lie down. I hope you enjoy the rest of the films and please watch them. Thank you. Good night. These are truly astonishing scenes. Deep into injury time. This to clinch it. Pick that one out, the onion basket. <laughs> What's this? A congratulations present. You can't afford this. My son's going to be a merchant banker. I think I can afford it. Wanker? You what? Merchant banker, wanker, it's rhyme and slang. You're not a wanker, son. And don't let anybody ever tell you that you are. I'm a wanker, Dad. I know it, you know it, Mam knows it. There's no denying it. Well, in that case, Jesus Christ was a wanker. Because as far as Liverpool's concerned, he is the son of God. Getting a job in the merchant bank. You've just performed a bloody miracle. The only reason I got the job is because they need wankers to do all the wanky jobs that no other wanker will do. No, 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 no. Games like Atlantic Mercantile, they don't just take in any dozy bollocks, you know. No, you got the job because they saw the potential in you. They saw that you got the right stuff. I like this. I'd forgotten what it was like underneath. Can't have a laughing boy getting all the attention. When he put your suit on this morning, it was you. I remember who I am today. You saw yourself in him. You and him. You're the same. No, we're not, love. There are winners and losers. Most of us are just losers. Francis is definitely a winner. You can see it in him. Whatever it is that makes people winners, he's got it. Well, if he's a winner, that makes us winners too. Because we made him. <laughs>
You should be out there on your knees, thanking him for all the sacrifices he's made for you. Can you really see me working in an office for the rest of my life? I don't know, you haven't even tried. You've only been in the job ten minutes and already you're going to quit the minute it gets tough. It's just not me, Dad. You can't afford to let opportunities like this pass you by. If it's the money, I can... This is not about money, lad. It's about dignity. Self-respect. You don't get it, do you? A man needs to work. A man is defined by what he does. If you only knew. What's that supposed to mean? You've just got to trust me, Dad. This job's not right for me. I will not have you living under my roof without a job. Do you hear? When you get to my age, you don't want to be looking back and saying, what did I do with my life? You have to work, otherwise... <laughs> it all falls apart. Otherwise, you start to hate yourself. Whatever you do, lad, just remember one thing. Okay. So long as you work hard, then at least you can live with yourself. show you something. I feel sick. What about Atlantic Mercantile? I lied. I was too ashamed to admit to you it was the only job I could get. This is how the bills get paid. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you work hard. At least then you can live with yourself. That's what you said to me. You dozy bollocks. What I said was, a man is defined by what he does. Richard Branson is defined by being a multimillionaire. Andre Kanchelskis is defined by being a brilliant footballer. Frank Sinatra is defined by being a great singer. And you, you are defined by being a friggin' lavatory attendant. <laughs> 